So when we're uh, talking about solutions, one important concept that we'll need to discuss is, of course, concentration. Um, concentration um, is sort of the numerical value of how much solute is per amount of solvent or even solution. Uh, there's a couple of different um, units that we'll use for this, but generally they take the shape of this um, ratio. Amount of solute per amount of solution. Okay, and so where solution is going to be the total amount of solute plus solvent. Uh, we'll go over a couple of very common ones. The first one that we'll uh, look at is uh, percent by mass. So percent by mass would be uh, abbreviated percent m slash m, usually in parentheses. You'll often see it as percent by weight, percent w over w as well. Uh, in both of these scenarios, it is the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the uh, solution multiplied by, since it's percent, 100 uh, percent. What mass uh, is used for this calculation? Well, it turns out it doesn't matter. As long as the mass of both the solute and solution are the same units, uh, they'll cancel out and they'll give you percent uh, as your final unit. So you can use any units uh, of mass in this calculation. Grams, kilograms, milligrams, uh, and so forth. A very uh, similar calculation is percent mass by volume. And this is very convenient because, of course, you're going to measure the solution in terms of volume, and then you can measure the mass of the solute and with an analytical bounce very easily and then calculate the uh, concentration in a very straightforward manner. So this is going to be the mass of the solute divided by the volume of the solution. And this really uh, multiplied by 100%, just as in the case of percent mass, percent by mass. Uh, this only is going to work though for aqueous solutions because the uh, mass and volume, we're essentially thinking of them as the same units. Um, since uh, mass of the uh, solute in grams per volume of solution, um, if we use milliliters uh, for water, one gram per milliliter is the density, and so that is essentially the same thing as percent by mass. I shouldn't say only, but it's usually uh, used for aqueous solutions. And then uh, the next one that we'll use is uh, a really important one, especially for a chemistry uh, course or anytime you're going to deal with chemical reactions, and that is known as the molarity. Um, as we learned about in stoichiometry, uh, it's often important to know the number of moles of a substance because the uh, chemical reactions, the relationship between the reactants and products is a molar relationship, and so it would be... Uh, nice if we had a concentration term that had units of moles in it and that is of course what molarity is. Uh, it is moles of solute per liter of solution. Uh, molarity is uh, abbreviated capital M and a lot of times uh, what you'll see used for molarity is that the uh, substance, the chemical that you're talking about, say we're talking about a sodium chloride solution, you'll put the uh, substance in brackets and that will equal some uh, molarity concentration. So anytime you see something in brackets and you're talking about solutions, the units that you're using are is molarity. Okay, so let's uh, do a couple calculations involving these concentration units. 
First, we've got a percent by mass calculation to do. All right, so what is the concentration in uh, percent by mass or mass percent of a solution prepared with 50 grams of sodium chloride and 250 grams of water? Okay, um, so we know that our equation for percent by mass is the mass of the solute per mass of solution times 100 percent all right so we've got the mass of the solute which is the sodium chloride the minor component of this solution and then it's uh, prepared by adding 50 grams of sodium chloride to 50, 250 grams of water. So for these um, types of problems, the only thing you have to be careful about is that if you are measuring the um, mass of the solution or mass of the solvent. If you're, ma uh, if you're measuring the mass of the solvent um, and adding solute to it, you have to add those two values to get the mass of the solution. If you're measuring the total mass of the solution, well, you can use that uh, unit straightforward. Um, mass of the solution is the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solution, or solvent, excuse me. All right, and so in this case, the mass of the solution would be 50 grams from the sodium chloride plus 250 grams from the water and that equals 300 grams. So now we can throw this into our calculation now that we know the mass of the solution. Percent by mass equals the mass of the solute which is 50.0 grams and the mass of the solution we just calculated it as 300 grams times 100 percent as you can see the grams cancel out and then 50 divided by 300 times 100 percent equals with three significant figures from the 50 16.7 this 100% that's an exact number so we don't have to worry about significant figures there um, for that calculation okay so let's uh, calculate a concentration uh, for molarity all right so we just learned that uh, molarity capital M stands for moles of solute per liter of solution. Always moles per liter. All right, and so we're uh, going to calculate this by uh, from a solution that uh, has a volume of 250 milliliters, and it was prepared with 1.180 grams of glucose. All right, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to convert this grams into moles to calculate the moles of solute. And then we're going to have to convert this 250 milliliters into liters because the uh, denominator is always liters of solution. Okay, so uh, the problem gives us the molecular weight or the molar mass of glucose. We could calculate that as well. We have before. So we'll just take that. 0.180 grams. Uh, the conversion factor is one mole of glucose over 180.16 grams. Grams cancel out. And so that's going to give us, well, throw it in our calculator, 0.18 divided by 180.16. That will give us 9.99 times 10 to the negative fourth and three significant figures for that 0 0.180 moles of glucose. Okay, so that is eventually gonna go into that equation. First, we need to calculate the liters of solution. 
and that's a simple conversion of 250.0 milliliters. If you remember, there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. Milliliters go on the bottom to cancel out. Now we'll give us 0 0.2500 liters. So now we can throw those two values into our calculation. We're going to put the uh, 250, 0.2500 on the bottom, the uh, number of moles on the top, and so this is going to be 9.99 .9 times 10 to the negative fourth moles of glucose divided by 0 0.2500 liters. And we'll just calculate that real fast. 9.99 .9 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 0.25 equals 3.996 times 10 to the negative third. We're going to have to cut this down to three significant figures because of the 9.99. .9. So that's going to be 3.99. The six is going to tell the nine to round up, which causes that nine to round up. So this is going to be 4.00. .00 times 10 to the negative third molarity moles per liter and as I said oftentimes you see this with uh, brackets and so if we wanted to write it like that it would be C6 H12O6 the formula for glucose equals 4.00 times 10 to the negative third molar um, you can also use prefix multipliers for these units of concentration and so uh, if we wanted to, because that's times 10 to the negative third, we can also say this is 4.00 millimolar solution if we wanted to uh, use the prefix multiplier for that concentration.